What's up guys? Hiding. I hope you're good. My name is Jesse and welcome to yet another amazing tutorial today where I'm going to show you how you can create and add shape files in ArcGIS. Let us start this tutorial. So the first thing that you have to do is you go to Windows here and then you click this catalog and then you open what? A catalog. So when you open a catalog, it will open a number of what? Of files or folders on your what? On your computer. So the first thing that you have to do is to create a folder connection. To create a folder connection, you come here to, you see, this. This means connect to folder, you know. So you connect to folder. So I'll let me go to my desktop and then I'll make a new folder. Then I'll call it ArcGIS. Let me call it ArcGIS tutorial. Then I'll I'll select this. I've called it ArcGIS tutorial, then I'll select it, then I click OK. So when I click OK, I have already connected it to what? To ArcGIS, as you can see, it's here connected. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is to make a point shape file. So I'll click here, and then I click New. And then when I click New, I'll go to Shape File, you see here? And I click okay so the shape file name I'm going to call it a point like this the feature type it's a point then the coordinate system I click here edit and then I want it to be a, a geograph to have a geographical coordinate system then I'll go to world I want it to be having the I want it to be actually no let me just give it a projected coordinate system projected then I look for UTM, then Africa, then ARC 1960-36 North, and then, okay. So what I can actually do, I can click here, and then I come somewhere. You see this add to favorites, and then I add this to my favorite, and then I click, okay. So, and then you can share the details if you want, or not, and then I click, okay, you know. So this is my what? My point shape file. So I have a satellite image here. So if I want to add a point, what you have to do is to click on this editor. You see this editor? Sometimes it is not there. So let me remove it. You just have to click here, right click, and then you look for the editor. Then will appear and then put it here so you click editor and then you start editing then i click the point and point and then i'll start adding my what my point you know just add a point 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 and then where you want you know so if i want to create a polygon and then i'll i'll go to the catalog still and I click new, still a shape file, and then this time it is a what? It is a polygon. Polygon, and then I'll give it a polygon. You know, then the connect system. You remember why I put this as my favorite? So I'll select it. And I press OK. Then I click OK. So if I want to edit, still I come to editor. Let me stop editing, yes, and then start it.
So to add a line, you also have to create the what? The line shape file. So you come here to new and then shape file. Then I call it a line still. And then it will be a what? A polyline. So I'll stop the editor, save changes, yes, and then I'll start editing. So if I want to edit the line, I'll click on the line, and then I select the what? The line tool. I can use this line. So if I want to extract like a road, like this road, I just have to come and then, you know, and then create a line. Yeah. And then I finish sketch. So if I want to draw a line that is rectangular, then I will do something like this. Ah, that's a rectangular line, you know. Uh, this is a rectangular line. If I want to draw a circular line, I, this is a line, remember, so I just have to draw a what? Maybe, let me draw it on a roundabout. So where is the roundabout? I can't see one here. Let me assume how to draw it here. So I just have to draw that line, you know. Actually, even if you want to draw a polygon, which is rectangular, just click there and then you what? See? You see? You see a rectangular polygon? Yeah, so that's how you can create shape files and then edit and then add shape files within what? Within ArcGIS. Thank you for watching this tutorial.